My name is Sylvia Alice Hill. I was originally um, born to Sylvia Alice Ingalls, which was my original last name before I got adopted. Um, I am a ex-lesbian. I have been delivered from that uh, spirit since I was 14 years old. I'm now 32. And uh, how I came upon uh, that lifestyle was not my fault. I was not born that way. I was sexually molested when I was five years old in the foster system. Um, they would dress me up like a little boy. Uh, when I was five, my foster mom's daughter um, crawled into the bed with me and she um, basically was touching on my body. And when I told her mother, um, which is my foster mom, she basically threatened me and my brother because the same thing happened to my younger brother that if we told that they would um, basically kill us. Um, that they couldn't find my mom and basically was just trying to say that there was no way out of the foster home that we were in. That if we left that they would find us and they would make us regret that they, we were born. So for a long time I felt naked and ashamed this woman would watch us take showers, her daughter, this is her daughter, keep in mind, which she would watch us take showers. And um, it, it did something real bad to my spirit. Um, and it, it's not a spirit that you're born with once again. I, I was, I remember sitting in class and I remember having my first girl crush on this girl who actually beat me up two years ago. We, I stayed in the Princeton district. She um, basically fought me two years ago, or years before that, um, when I was in the third grade. I think I was in like in the seventh or eighth grade when I actually, for some reason, I, I remember watching her walk and I just had this sudden girl crush. And I didn't want to feel that way. I, I immediately tried to shake it off. Like, no, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to feel this way. They would always dress me up like in boy clothes. They didn't care for me, my foster parents. And so you take upon that spirit once you start dressing like that. There's a scripture in the Bible that does teach for a man not to dress up like a woman or a woman not to dress up like a man, otherwise you'll take upon its character. And so that's what was happening to me. I had dressed like, a, they were forcing me to dress like a boy. For so long, I was taking upon the characteristics of a young man. And um, when I began to tell my friends what was going on in the house, because they would always question why I never wear a dress, why I would never dress up like a woman, or, or a young teenager, because I would always want to dress like a young teenager or a, a, a young teenage girl and, and, and go to like parties like girls go to and stuff like that and, and to, you know just hang out at the mall, go shopping with my friends and dress up like a girly girl. I, I was called a slut um, if I were to ever do it outside of church. They would only dress me up to go to church just to make a cover up but anytime I went to school I would have to dress up like a boy and um, I remember I had this one friend who challenged me by the time I was like 13 and she was a holiness religion meaning that they believed in wearing really really long skirts no makeup no earrings so she would always wear skirts and dresses I was never really attracted to any other girl but that one girl and so it was okay for me to hang around my friends. But she told me, she said, I challenge you. She said, one day you have to come in wearing pants and I'll come in, I mean, one day you have to come in wearing a skirt and one day I'll come in wearing pants. And I told her, I said, I'll take you on that challenge. And a year had went past and I began to st suddenly just started shaking these feelings of not wanting to be that way, not, not want to even dress like a boy. The more she kept challenging me, she would challenge me every day. The more she kept challenging me, the more I want to be like a woman. The more I just wanted to look more like a woman. I, I began to sneak clothes to school. And um, I remember my first job when I got when I was 14, I was um, working as a school I, I was working as a counselor for a uh, this this summer camp 
and that's when I first officially brought all my clothes and it was like the spirit just it just it came out of me it's like the more and more I dressed more earlier I didn't even care what my foster parents had to say if they saw me walking out the house with a skirt on it was my money I brought my clothes so I figured they couldn't do nothing to me and so the more and more I dressed like a woman the more better I became to feel and it was like that that lesbian bisexual spirit it just left me and I have been delivered ever since and um, I don't really speak to my foster parents at all because they refuse to admit to what they did and I have a child myself and I wouldn't want happen to me happen to her so I couldn't claim them to be my my her grandparents or anything like that but I just I thank God that he took me from that because homosexuality is not something that you are born with I don't care how many laws Obama has passed I don't care what the world millions and billions of people are saying it is not something you are born with you are either molested at a, a very young age you saw something on TV or somebody in the home is doing something to you or you saw it when your friends do it it is not something you are born with it is a demonic force and another thing I wanted to share when I noticed that I was having a crush on this girl back in um, the seventh and eighth grade I asked myself I said why do I feel this way this it felt so fearful I felt so alone I actually heard a voice in my head tell me I was born that way that's when those spirits had become I didn't feel that way I didn't feel that way years before but that particular day is when I heard that voice say that and people notice that spirit on you and they try to fight you they try to beat it out of you and and technically they would be right because it's, it's a scripture that says you have to get it out of that person or whatever or rebuke that person I, I'm not saying physically harm that person but you have to rebuke that person until it comes out and it's a certain way that you can rebuke it until it comes out and I, I thank God for my friend who basically challenged me every single day to come to school wearing a dress because eventually that spirit came out it's a weak spirit and, and, and the thing is it will hold on to you as long as you want it to. If you keep on saying you're gay or you're homosexual, you get up, a woman gets up and put on manly looking clothes, then guess what? You have become that spirit. But the moment that you stop yourself and put on the, the garments of a woman, I guarantee you, you will never feel the same. If you pray to God, if you give your life to Christ, you won't feel the same way. A peace will come upon your life and you won't feel the same way.